So today we're going to be testing out Retriever, which is a free Chrome extension. You can get it at retriever.ai. All the notes inside the AI profit boardroom if you just want to get the full SP from me. And essentially, this just links straight into your Chrome browser, but it actually it can automate a lot of tasks inside your existing Chrome mention, right? So for example, if we go across here, you can see, for example, you can link this to Google Sheets, you can work across tabs, you can use your current tab, etc. And then you can choose what you want to do. And you can also enter prompts here. So let's say, for example, we're like, okay, find the SP500 price. We can switch between at, crawl, and extract. So we'll click on at and just test to see what happens here. So you can actually work across different pages. And also you can click on like new chat here as well. So let's say, for example, do deep tab research on Retriever AI. It's going to start working its magic now. We can also work across tabs and sheet flows. So let's test it out, see what we get back. So here we're testing out, we're saying, right, extract the page, right? So scrape the key data about this person. And then you can see it's running the task right here. So let's see how it goes. This is pretty slow. We can pause the task if we want to. So we're using Gemini Flash here. Maximum number of tabs are open 12. Page delay 1,000. And then we've got the credits here. So you actually do get free, 50 free credits on the free plan. It's running the sheet flow now. This is super slow. All right. I'm not impressed with this tool at all. I've heard good things, but this one is not working. I'm sticking to my ChatGPT 3 updates. I might test it out more, but right now it's super, super slow. Let's have a look what else we can do. So if we tell it to act, Gentic action, find Nvidia price. All right, let's try that. And we've got advanced options here as well. So say, okay, find the SMP 500 price. Click act, see what it does. Ah, so you can go straight on to Google. Look at that. That's pretty cool to be fair. That's super fast. That's pretty crazy. So let's see it right. So there's some things I really like on this. There's some things I'm like, okay, this is okay. Bear in mind, this is free for 50 actions. Seems to be super slow when it's like scraping pages. But for example, finding S&P 500 prices, that sort of thing seems pretty good at this. Let's do another one now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, Search LinkedIn.com for CEOs who run an SEO agency. See if that works. So it's going to LinkedIn.com. This is pretty crazy because it's like, it's literally connected to my main Chrome setup. Now it's going into the search bar and it's actually searching for CEOs. So you can see it's done the search right here and it's scraping all that data. Look at this. And then it gives you the information. The search itself is not great. To be honest, it's like CEOs who run an SEO agency. It could be a lot smarter when it comes to using that. But the fact that you can just log into your main social media, start searching through it, scrape all the data, like you can see here. So if we actually widen this, you can see all the details of what it's scraped. And it's got the name, the role, etc., URL of the person. And it literally was so fast in doing that. That's crazy stuff. All right, let's try something else now. So I'm going to say, okay, go to x.com and post interesting quote about AI. We'll see if it can do that, all right? So the cool thing about this is like, you normally, I would use something like Rucode to help me on this. And the problem with Rucode is it's quite technical for most people to set up, so it's not easily accessible. Number two, you have to set up Chrome debugging, so that's a bit of a nightmare. And number three, you can't log into your existing actions. So let's see if it can do its magic. Boom, look at that, it's actually posted it. So you can see it's gone on to x.com. It's put the details as me and actually posted a quote. That's pretty crazy stuff right there. Cool. And you see here it confirms agentic action response. The post has been successfully sent. It's actually amazing how fast that is. Let's try something else now. So I'm going to say start a new Google Doc. Bear in mind like this is just a Chrome extension. So you don't need to plug in your API key either. You can use it for free for 50 free responses. It seems way faster than anything else I've seen. So we'll say, okay, start a new Google Doc and write an article about SEO. So it's going to docs.google.com. You can see it's using the thinking process as well. So the user wants me to do this, blah, blah, blah. Here's what we're going to do. Does seem to be struggling to type into the article, but we'll see what it does. I'm going to give it some more details here. So I'm going to say, okay, just write the article in the Google Doc. You've got to open, see if it can do that. And it's totally struggling with that. All right. Let's give it a new task now. So we're going to say, okay, 
go to ChatGPT and have a conversation about the future of AI. So it's gone on to ChatGPT here directly, but it can't figure out how to type in the prompt. Yeah, I'm not that impressed so far. Oh, let's go. It might have been because it was in responsive mode. So you can see here now that we've moved this box to the right further. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So it can actually have a conversation with AI as well. Let's see now if we say, okay, go to see if bold.new is logged in here. All right. It's logged in. All right. So we're going to go inside here and we'll say, okay, create an SEO keyword tool using bold.new. Make sure you're patient and wait for it to complete. So it's gone to bold.new. It's created an SEO keyword tool, so it's waiting for it to do its job. The one thing that I typically find with like computer use is, is quite, it gives up easily if this doesn't reply straight away. So let's see what we get back. To be fair, I've not touched anything. I've just given the prompt to the AI and it's actually gone off and do it. I was expecting like ChatGPT or Google to release something like this year, but it seems like Retriever AI have actually beat them to it. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. That is wild. And so you can get the AI agent to go onto LinkedIn, find leads for you. You can get it to search for stock prices. You could also, for example, get it to build tools for you and that sort of thing in different tabs. You can log in to your browser. It's a one click install with the Chrome extension and it's free for 50 credits or something like that. And then also the interesting thing about this is that you can automate your social media. So you can get it to send emails probably for you, or you could get it to go onto LinkedIn and post an update or Twitter, etc. like I've shown you today already. Wild stuff, wild stuff. It's, it is much easier. I do think it's got some limitations. So for example, like deep research tasks, if you wanted it to do a deep research task, it's going to probably take about 10 or 15 minutes, kind of like other AI models. So I can't really show you that live on the video and that's probably why it failed before. But for stuff like this, it's pretty cool. It's waiting for it to roll out. It's doing its magic. It's being super patient and that's what we want. And then that should be good to go. If we preview it now, you can see that the AI agent, so our browser agent retriever AI. It's just gone off and built an SEO keyword research tool. Pretty cool. There's so much you can do with this. Like anything that you do where it's just clicking buttons, I'm pretty sure you can just get the AI to figure it out for you and then get it to go off and use your computer use essentially. So crazy stuff. Definitely good once you get your head around it. You just have to understand the limitations. Also, there's tons more stuff we can do here, like you can see right here. So we can actually work across tabs, search tabs, etc. It also has these Google Sheets integrations as well. So like extracting information or keyword searching and that sort of thing. So yeah, really cool. Again, that's available at Retriever AI. You can see what you might be wondering, okay, what are the use cases for this? So like web research, data extraction, website automation, spreadsheet tasks, repetitive task automation, form filling stuff, interacting with PDFs and multi-tab contextual analysis as well. So it's pretty cool. We've got a full recipe inside the AI Profit Boardroom if you want to get access to that. And it is absolutely awesome. Also, this community comes with tons of tutorials on how to use AI to make you money and save you time. So feel free to get that link in the comments and description. And this also comes with weekly Q&A calls. So you can ask any questions on the Q&A calls. And you can also ask the community any questions you have directly here as well. And also inside the classroom here, inside the SAPs, we just add in new SAPs pretty much every single day, right? So you can see we added two new SAPs and we're constantly upgrading this. So feel free to get it link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more leads, traffic and sales with SEO, feel free to get that. And this will give you basically a custom tailored game plan to grow your business with SEO based on what's working for us and our happy clients, like you can see right here. And also on that call, you can ask any questions one-to-one -one that you have so that you can get your questions answered and just go back and forth inside the call. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.